Hello, Taylor from Red Dog Redesign here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Today we're going to be jumping right into a flip I did on this buffet table. As you can see, it's pretty outdated. It has this stenciling on it. I would say it's pretty country style, so I knew as soon as I saw this one that I wanted to completely transform it and give it a dark and moody makeover. So let's jump right into this flip. If you watched my last video, I mentioned that my parents were moving into a new house and they were getting rid of some of the old furniture pieces they had, so this is one of those. We're at my parents' house today and my dad is going to be helping me with this flip. Can I point out, um, your furniture flip is only as good as your attire and that is why my dad opted to wear his Crocs and I opted to wear this majestic unicorn sweatshirt. I'm just going in and starting to scuff sand with a 220 grit sandpaper. You'll see in a moment that my dad comes in with a 150 grit. This is just because this furniture piece had sort of an interesting texture. It had some veining in the wood, so we were just trying to smooth that out a little bit more. Then after sanding, we're just going back in and wiping everything down to get rid of any of the dust that came from sanding. And in a moment, you will see the red dog himself. Always with the ball, just throwing it at me. This is the piece right before we were about to prime. There he is again. We used a spray primer and we only used it on the top and the drawers. We were just trying to smooth out some of those textures a little bit more and most of that was on the top and the drawers. I honestly don't know what brand this spray primer was, but if anyone was interested, I'm sure I could find that out. I used Bare Paint and Primer from Home Depot, and I used the Benjamin Moore color called Blackjack, which is kind of a smoky black with some blue undertones. We are teaming up again and I am going in and getting the trim and the harder to reach spots with a brush and my dad is coming back in and covering the flat top and sides with a roller. There's that red dog again. By the way, his name is Tarantino. Yes, he is named after Quentin Tarantino, AKA Tino. Let me guess, he has the ball again. Oh, there it is. Pitiful. Since this is a darker color, we got really good coverage on the first coat and this 
piece only required two coats actually. So I was getting some of these edges started and my dad was coming back in and rolling the larger surfaces. Teamwork. starting to look very handsome on this first coat. And a very smooth finish, I must say. Then we just lifted the piece up to get the awkward, hard to reach spots on the legs and the feet. I opted to use the original hardware for this one. I thought it was really cool and unique, so we just brightened it up with some champagne spray paint. Now for the before and after. This piece got a total transformation and it is looking kind of gothic chic and very classy, I must say. <laughs> 